In the summer of 1969, baseball fans across North America cheered as Willie McCovey and Harmon Killebrew slugged their way toward MVP awards. The Miracle Mets shocked the world on their way to a championship, and expansion teams took the field in Seattle, San Diego, Kansas City, and Montreal, Canada, the first time America's game stepped foot outside the boundaries of the United States. But on that fateful summer, Americans traveled even further to another world. On July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 landed on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin explored only a tiny piece of the lunar surface, an area about the size of a baseball field. Imagine the lunar lander touched down on the pitcher's mound. Traveling down the base paths, this is the view Armstrong and Aldrin saw from where first base would be. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. Once you get to second base, you peer back toward the pitcher's mound and see the lunar lander. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. Rounding third base, you would see the TV camera that captured some of the first footage from the surface the of the moon. TV coverage of the scene. And on the way home, you would pass the flag. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the limit. As you enjoy today's game, take note of the children in the crowd. Some of them may hope for baseball glory, but others dream of reaching for the stars.